Hi, this is Patrick Gould from Software AG Government Solutions. Bob Jeffcott and I would like to present to you this short video and show you how easily you can expose mainframe COBOL objects as REST APIs to your modern low-code applications or other REST consumers. You can see the architecture of this demonstration where on the right side of the drawing is where the mainframe COBOL objects exist. We can then REST API enable COBOL objects with Web Methods Interx and Web Methods Integration Server in the middle of the drawing. And lastly, expose the REST APIs for use by any REST API consumer on the left of the drawing. We will now demo this process to you. First of all, we let the Software AG designer know where our COBOL objects reside on the mainframe. The software will present us with the COBOL objects we want to API enable from a mainframe PDS or a local object text file. We are then presented with the IDL mapping editor and configure as desired for our REST service inputs and outputs. A single COBOL object can have multiple actions and REST service can be configured to handle all the actions. The end result of the mapping process is an IDL file in our package and we use it later to build the REST API. We then generate the integration server connection properties from the IDL file with properties like entirex adapter connection type. We can either create a new integration server connection or update an existing connection. It is now time to generate the actual REST API resource with correct properties like user ID and password for the mainframe access. Of course, these types of properties can be substituted at execution time. And lastly, we can now test the REST API just created with a tool like Postman to show it is ready for consumption by REST API consumers in your business model. Fill out all the required fields to access the API. You will then be presented with the output fields of the COBOL API. Thank you for watching.